Rob, Chicago police fired 96 shots before the incident with Dexter Reed ended, and it only took 41 seconds for all those shots to be fired. 23 body-worn cameras vividly portray a violent and deadly incident for motorist Reed. The 26-year-old man shot by police and killed on March 21st in East Garfield Park after police stopped Reed for not wearing a seatbelt, and he opened fire on them, wounding one officer in the wrist. We've blurred some of the video you are about to see. Roll that one down, too. Hey, don't roll the window up. Don't roll the window up. Reed at first lowers his vehicle window for police, but then quickly closes it. A few seconds later, gunshots are heard and seen coming from inside the vehicle, and officers outside the SUV run for cover. One officer shot in the wrist and wounded during that initial round of gunfire by Reed, according to COPA investigators. In this disturbingly violent video, a Chicago police tactical officer takes a firing position and squeezes off dozens of rounds of ammo. Dexter Reed attempts to leave the vehicle, but is hit by the steady stream of police fire. He then rolls out of the vehicle, still moving, the police still firing. Once Reed stops moving, the body cam video appears to show an officer firing three more shots. Total time police are shooting, 41 seconds, 96 rounds. Within less than a minute, an exchange of gunfire occurred, leaving Mr. Reed dead and an officer shot in the forearm. Preliminary information and available evidence appears to confirm that Mr. Reed fired first, striking one officer. The same information also confirms that four different officers returned fire approximately 96 times at Mr. Reed, including after he exited his vehicle and while he was lying on the ground. Mr. Reed's firearm was subsequently found on the front passenger seat of his vehicle. If the evidence proves beyond a reasonable doubt that the force used was illegal, our office will file criminal charges. If our office determines that the evidence is insufficient to meet our burden of proof, which I want to differentiate this from the burden of proof from COPA, which our burden of proof is beyond a reasonable doubt. Our office will request an additional review by the Illinois State's Attorney's Appellate Prosecutor. The I-Team has learned that tactical officer who fired a majority of the shots is 23 years old from a Chicago police family on the force for no more than two years. COPA says he personally fired more than 50 shots. This afternoon, we've also learned that after the shooting, COPA's director urged Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling to strip the 23-year-old officer and three colleagues of their police powers, a much more drastic move than the standard desk duty. In the memo ABC7 obtained through a Freedom of Information filing, COPA questions the premise of their traffic stop in the first place and how those officers could have observed a seatbelt violation through dark tinted windows. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.